Before we get here, we never imagined that it will be like that, but we, we were never, never thinking that in our life we will live in such this place and having those uh, situation. I spent uh, this last four years and a half, I'm, I'm telling to myself, uh, I, I, must have, I must have some patience. It will finish, it will finish, it will finish. Somebody will help us. They will, they will try to, to help us to finish this big war. But after that, all these years, I, I said to myself, I lose everything, I lose uh, everything. Must I go? Until when uh, must I, I wait? It's a big, big problem, big problem. We are in the Turkish war, Turkey are in the Turkish war, and we are in the camp of Shemzin. The camp of Shemzin is not a human being, there are 5,000 people, they are in the Arda and the Arda. They are in the Arda and the Arda, and they are in the Arda and the Arda, and they are in the toilet and in the toilet. دورا ام در کتن جویده ام هاتن پشت حیش تروجا ما دو کم پیدمان ما حیصو دولار دا ما و هوا دیخو حیا ام در کتن ما دا از خیلی ترک بیفور ای هفت کمپانی ای هفت فکتوری دیری فکتوری ای هفت ورکنگ بری ویل ای هفت لطف منی ای لیتل بیت یو کن سی ای هفت ریچ من فا حبینا نطلع على اوروبا لانو کنن نسمع انو اوروبا فیها حضارة و فیها انسانی و بیارف الحقوق الانسان it's not easy to leave your country and by all this way and by sea and uh, such like this dangerous sea you can uh, don't imagine that you are putting your life in your hand and then come to another country. عندكِ ذا كاتن دبلي قوي جود. فا فا سكروا الحدود بوجهنا وحطونا بهاي المخيمات. What they want to to do, even return to Turkey or relocation in Greece or open the border or relocation in Europe. Let them do it now. Why they let us suffering all this? The life here is very miserable. It's it's big problem for everybody. Until now, I cannot live in this in this. What you, what you can say about it is open prison. It's, it's very bad. The situation is very bad. Nobody give us hope after closing all the board. We don't have uh, hope because when we come, we just in our mind we told it, and we from our country we will arrive to another country. We never imagined that it will spend all this time. Because we without it maybe like week or maybe like more than weeks, but not all this time because we have been here about a month so we don't know what's gonna happen there. We appreciate for all Greek people and all people like you coming from America or Spain or other country they're coming to help us but they don't have the decision they don't have the power to help us and the decision for the governments and the governments I don't know what they are doing they cannot stop the war and they cannot help us, and they cannot open the border. I don't know what they are doing. I think they are partners together with Syrian regime. I think, not only me, everybody thinking that. I say for all people, for all his people who show this film, for human rights, for UNCHR, for all organizations, for all governments, if somebody from you is coming just sleep in this tent, just for one day, he take everything he wants. Just I won't say this for war, for the world. Just coming human rights, just see our situations. We are really in bad situations. All day we kill our sneaker, scorpion, anything here. We are not here for safe. We are coming to European countries for safe place. Not we coming to stay in the tent like like the animals. The animals they don't stay like this. The dog in the European country he have he have house. But now we are human. We don't have house here. فأنا اليوم عم انصدم بالواقع بالشيء اللي عم شوفه أنا إلي حق بالدراسة وإلي حق بالتعلم كمثل كقاصر بكل العالم. I was a student in university. I was it was my last year. I was studying engineering, water resource department. 
like all, all many students that leave their studies and come and also my brothers where they're having their jobs they graduated my sister also was at uh, last year but unfortunately we couldn't continue our studies that's the main problem that's what i left from my country my children now they did not have the education from three years and a half it's a big problem for their future that's what i'm looking for it until what uh, until which time must i i wait and i lose my children f future you know my children is all my life i'm working for this reason only my children future and there is big war in our country and no more future there no more schools no no education at all for that reason i came to cross to europe to find any country i can give my children a good education that's the main problem. We start with the future. My future is gone already. What I collect in my life, I lose it already. But I'm looking now only to save my children's future. I, th I thank the God I did not lose anybody from my family. But all people, if each family, they lose somebody from the family. They lose somebody. We left our country because of the war. We are not hungry in our country. We are not thirsty. We have our jobs, our lives. But the war destro destroyed everything in our country. So we looking for a place, place we can live like a human, not like animals just we, now. So I hope for, from all the people to open the borders and make our life easier because it's very hard here and it's very dangerous in the, this camp. There are snakes, there are scorpions, and we don't know in the coming days what will happen with us. I want to say to European government, Shame on you. Your dogs have houses. And we are human, just live in tents between the trees with nothing. Shame on you. Just that. Shukran to all the people who are helping us. And to the Yunan for the country and helping us. We hope that. We hope that because it's our future. We are still young. We what we want is just find a, a safer place and to continue like all other that the, the young peoples that have dreams. Yeah. Sorry. No. Let us go, let us cross, let us go to anywhere just to start our life, to start that the children future. Here in this camp, do you think anybody can get education here, get normal life? I'm dreaming to, la to live in normal a normal house, normal flat with my family. Now we are five person here in this one tent, and my wife, she is pregnant. It it never happened for me before. Actually, when actually when they anybody come here and see us in this situation will know what it is. Yeah. And inside each camp and every family have different stories. A story is harder than the other. So. And in our, it was, um, I don't know how to explain it, that much difficult to come. We spent like a month in uh, Turkey trying, trying to come and um, finally by the sea we went here. It was not easy. We never imagined that when we come, they will close the border. And it's one word all, for all the people. It's not for this country or this one. It's for all humans.